So there is an author that says that art takes things that are ugly and makes them frequently become more beautiful with time. time. For fashion, fashion takes things that are beautiful and it makes them frequently become more ugly with time. time. So let me get this straight. So you mad because for your birthday, I wasn't able to afford to buy you a coach bag. Well, go buy it yourself with your broke ass, because I told you. All I had to my name was a thought, a pen, and a notepad, but it was your attitude towards my gratitude that was so bad that I bet that you would rather go to the mall and have a storgasm rather than help your grandmother pay for the pills for her back spasms. I remember when it wasn't your birthday. I'd read you my poetry all the time, and you told me that I kept you thirsting for more, so I figured that I'd write you a storm, in the form of a poem, one that would flood the heart that I had once called a home, but I guess I wasn't deep enough for your shallow ass. And even if I would have bought you the bag, the current fad will fade, good money will go to waste, the strap will eventually tear away, but yet you have the nerve to call my poetry trash? Well, I got news for you. One poem from me is worth like a million dollars worth of emotion so that maybe you can buy yourself some fucking self-esteem. It's women like you who need to realize that the size of a man's wallet does not reflect the size of his heart. It's women like you who really believe that a man doesn't like you or genuinely love you unless he puts a ring on it but know that if I write a poem about you that's my way of sitting a crown down and putting a queen on it because crowns should wear you. It's women like you who make me say why should I compliment you when you won't appreciate it? Because my words obviously weren't appreciated because you don't appreciate shit and even through all of this you still a beautiful individual that creates heaven. Attach your hands to man's hips long enough to fool him into a profit. Long enough to feel the knot in his wallet. You are like the leech in a pool of women that tried to weasel their way into my pockets, but I held you in the palm of my hand and squashed it. All rise. Look, it's time to prosecute this prostitute. And we can skip the- Will you tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Because whatever you telling me is like what you selling me, and I ain't buying it. We the men find you guilty of being a cheap copy of an imitation of an impersonation of a lover. Multiple accounts of discrimination against the brothers who would rather spend more time than money. Countless accounts of fraud, attempted burglary, and my personal favorite, favorite. Grand Theft Cardio. You are here by sentence to life without the possibility of love. So maybe this will mean that you might die alone. But hey, we'll make sure to put a couple bucks in your casket so that maybe you can bribe God into securing a place in his home. See, the way that you open envelopes, eject the money, and throw away the card reminds me of how your first opened your legs, ejected your innocence, and threw away your heart right after your cherry pop. But you made sure he bought you a pop, and now your virginity is worth less than a 20-ounce big shot. So happy birthday. This is no coach bag, but you can bag this shit up and wear it just as well as you would one. Now hurry up and blow out your fucking candles before God charges you for a wish.